In our last episode, we began looking at themes. In this episode, we're going to get a bit more in-depth. We're still looking at the themes available to us through the theme search in WordPress. Let's install one we like and see what we can do with it. There are some important features to look for when choosing a theme. It has to match your site's purpose. If you look closely at the thumbnails, you can see that some themes are designed for photos, some are designed for product showcasing, some are designed as pure blogs, and others for many other purposes. I've already looked and I've found a theme that I like for this site called Tinder Spring. Let's search for that one and install it. And we will activate it as well. Now we're back at theme management. And we can see that Tinder Spring is the current theme. The customize link allows us to customize theme specific information. Let's see what this theme offers us. Here we can set the site title and tagline. The site title is the text at the very top of the screen. And the tagline is the smaller text just below it. The tagline is typically a company motto, a favorite quote, or even left blank. We can also choose what we want our front page to display. It can either display our latest blog posts, or we can set it to a page that we've created. Using a static page instead of a blog is a good way to give a landing or launching page to the rest of your content if your site is more than just a blog. It may be a company page where your products should be at the forefront with a blog at the, as a secondary page. This particular theme doesn't give us many options, but most of the themes you encounter won't. You can sometimes change the header images and colors here, but again, it's completely dependent on the theme you select as the theme must specify what can be modified here. It's a little disappointing that we can't customize it a little more, so let's look for something a bit more versatile. There are several frameworks available for WordPress. Most of them have at least a free version, with a pro or premium paid version that offers some sort of extra functionality. Let's look at a few of these. One of the most popular frameworks these days is PageLines. PageLines has a base theme called Platform, which can be installed from theme management. I already have Platform installed, so let's activate it and look at the options it gives us. Once we activate Platform, we get a new menu item in the Appearance menu called PageLine Settings. This is where you'll do the customization to PageLines. It may look complicated, but it's actually very simple once you know what you're doing. The first section of the page line settings that you'll see is the global options. Here, you can set your email address for page lines notifications if you wish to do so. This is not required. You can also upload a custom header image to appear at the top of the page. A fav icon, which is the icon that appears in your browser's URL bar when visiting your site. Your Twitter username for putting your Twitter feed in a widget and an Apple Touch image for those that wish to set your site as a web clip in Apple devices. You can also restore all your options to default, export your theme settings, and import settings that you've previously exported. That's the basic information that you can normally change. Let's look at the more advanced things. If we drop down to template setup, we can start to break down the elements of the site and change them individually. The current template area that we're working with is the site header. It's currently displaying site branding and navigation. We have advanced setup beneath each that allows us to hide it by default or hide it on posts and pages. You'd likely never want to do that with either site branding or navigation, which is simply your header image and the site navigation links at the top of the page. In the Available but Disabled section, we can see more options that we can drag over to our header and include them in the header. We're pretty happy with everything on our page so far, so we're not going to make any modifications to our template setup. In our next video, we'll continue talking about page line settings and get our theme in order.